creating a fill in the blanks game is as simple as typing or pasting the text and selecting the words where you want to place the blanks. You can separate the text in as many screens as you want, create blanks combining two or more words, decide if your players fill them by typing or clicking, or add wrong answers to make it more difficult for them. In click mode, players click or tap on a word to place it in the active bank, or drag it to the blank of their choice. In typing mode, they fill in the blanks with the keyboard. In both cases, they press the check button to correct their choices. If you want to make it more exciting, you can set time limits or a finite number of lives. Let's go! If you haven't done so yet, click Create Activity, choose Fill in the Blanks game and register or login to start creating it. Once inside the editor, the easiest way to start creating your Fill in the Blanks game is giving Ray a title so it creates it for you. Ray will use ChatGPT's artificial intelligence to create the content from the title and will leave the game ready for you to publish after you add, remove or change whatever you want. You can also give Ray the text so it selects the words to be filled in by the players. If you want to create the game yourself, write or paste your words in the text to complete field and see how boxes with each of your words are generated below. Select the words you want to turn into blanks and that's it! If you go to the info tab at this point and type in a title and a description, you can now publish your fill in the blanks game and share it with your players. But you can do a lot more. For example, you can create a blank with two or more words. If you want to do this, simply choose the words in question and click on the horizontal line that joins them. If you want to separate them again, click on the vertical dot line. You can also add wrong answers to the word bank to make it more difficult for your players. Write or paste them and press enter to add them. Thanks to the ability to add incorrect answers and to divide the text by blocks, if you want, you can create a game with several screens where the player has to fill in a single blank choosing between three possibilities, for example. Go to the Options tab and activate Penalize Mistakes if you want the players to lose a life in addition to points every time they press the check button and make a mistake. Then you'll have to decide how many lives you give them before the game is over. Use the time option to define a time limit to solve each block of text. By default, players complete the activity by choosing words from the bank and placing them in the blanks. However, if you prefer, you can decide to have them do it by writing. If you choose this option, you will see three additional options that you can enable if you want. Hide the word bank and make the activity take into account mistakes related to upper and lowercase letters or accents. With any advanced academic or commercial plan, you can use advanced options such as setting a background image, setting the game as private, showing a message when players pass the activity, or not showing them the correct answers when they finish. If you have a commercial plan, you can also customize the game with your logos and your corporate colors. You are almost there. Next, go to the Information tab where you can change the language of the activity interface and write the title and description. If you want, you can also choose where the activity is located in your educational system. You can also tag your activity to make it easier to classify. You can separate your tags with commas or pressing Enter. When your activity is ready to be published, you'll just have to click the Publish button. Once your activity is published, a screen will appear from which you can do many things. You can keep on creating activities. You can check the one you just created. You can get the link to share it. You can publish it in Google Classroom or other platforms. You can create a challenge with it. Or you can keep on editing it. You can do all of this whenever you want. Just go to your profile and click the buttons below the activity.